of astronauts since age five and loving it. Tang, orange flavored powder drink of space champions. What does Jordan drink after slamming down the most amazing zero gravity dunk ever space jammed? Tang, what does Elton's rocket man survive off of on the hellish surfaces of Mars? Tang, what does Picard order to the bridge of the Enterprise, boldly going where no man has gone before? Earl Grey, Fox. This is the final frontier, and I intend to make it a surprisingly salty one. I am going balls deep into space. The sort of fearless teabagging that has been used to erect flags on the surfaces of everything from the moon to various college frat house dorm rooms, and I'm not just saying that because I've been drinking tang since like four in the morning or whatever. I'm talking about all preparation that I've been doing for years to be ready for space, like wearing moon shoes that my friend found in this free box so that I have a better understanding of how to moonwalk or teabag and moon gravity or whatever, or attempting to pee into hoses that I shoved into my jeans from the bottom cuff because I believe that astronauts are probably hooked into some sort of similar contraption or not sleeping for days on end because I believe that astronauts probably have to be awake the entire time they are on the shuttle and also sometimes I suffer from insomnia or eating as much freeze-dried space ice cream as possible because in space they have fucking space ice cream and you just have to deal with that fact. It's like Forrest Gump shit up there. For real, it's like that scene where he got shot in the butt talk, so he got to eat all the ice cream he wanted but then Lieutenant Dan was in the bed next to him with no legs but they made that bet where Forrest was a shrimpo captain and Lieutenant Dan became an astronaut and then Forrest did become a shrimpo captain and then Lieutenant Dan got magic legs and showed up in Apollo 13. I mean, I got it all figured out, all right? I'm not saying that I'm gonna cut off my legs so I can get magic titanium space legs, but that would be awesome. But I am building a totally amazing fireproof spacesuit with built-in waste recycler tube, and I'm gonna use that recycler tube to convert my pee into tank as I don't sleep for days on end, floating upside down while eating as much freeze-dried space ice cream as I fucking want. And it's gonna be the most badass thing I ever do. Because why should space only be for the bored and the rich? Look, I know that Virgin Space is about to start chartering shuttles into orbit for a sweet quarter million, but isn't the whole notion of space for all of us to dream ourselves into, explore, stretch out amidst, and then clog up and ruin? <laughs> Look, I realize that people with money are the best at ruining shit. <laughs> But I can do that, too. <laughs> and I'm going to start with space, because it may only be a small walk to the grocery store, but it's a giant effort to get off the couch when i got to do it without moon shoes. And this earth gravity, so soul-crushing, someone wrote it into law, always rooting me down, bringing me here so small, so useless, so far away from the moon and the stars and the sky. When you first pour Tang Mix into the water glass, it clouds up like a galaxy being born. We are still barely even able to conceive of how our universe created itself, like it was just stirred up from the nothing, like everything was bright, bright black, and life opened up its brain and saw all this space and said, I am going there, motherfucker. 